were off just a little after uh, 15 hours or into the first day of May, so it's May 1st. Uh, oh, happy May, everybody. And it is uh, Saturday before Pascha. Uh, tonight will be Pascha. And uh, then we have another 50 days because we celebrate Pascha for 50 days afterwards. So, you know, these, these celebrations are ongoing. So, it's alright that I uh, vlog every day, anyways, because uh, we're always in some form of festival mode. I didn't change my visor wearing the regular visor. Uh, the sun's not on the horizon, it's higher in the sky, so uh, no particular issues in terms of uh, the sun and solar blindness. I was able to finish much of my YouTube show last night in terms of the basic path. Well, there's still a lot more to go. There's, I have My YouTube show now, because of the subpaths, has become uh, very large. So, <laughs> I've got more than enough content. I've got more con I have more content than I, than, than I can watch in any particular night. So, I had to kind of spread it out over a couple nights, so, but that doesn't necessarily matter because some of the vloggers aren't doing uh, daily vlogs anymore anyway, so, uh, you can sort of spread your content out and, and, uh, go buy channels when you feel like it, and you'll always have some, more or less, you'll always have something to watch. Uh, then I also have my, uh, my media library, which is also very large, and here we go time to uh, get off and go. Light's going to turn green short shortly. It's daunting when you have a truck behind you. And they're so big. And you're so small. <laughs> is going to be a bit of an issue, so I will be going slower. But I've been sleeping more. I've been getting a lot more sleep, so that's a good thing. There are other people out with their bikes. As the weather gets better, more and more bikes will start coming out. The new route just as nice as the old route in some ways because now we've got the trees. Uh, 
Oh boy, you're still out in the wind while you're riding. I think the wind is going to be uh, a consistent factor. Particularly when you consider uh, the speed uh, you put your hand out the window, roll down the window in your car as you go on the lawn, put your hand out and you'll feel the wind. And it's just from the motion of the car itself is uh, producing that uh, that uh, wind that you're feeling. Uh, this is what dogs like. I think cats like to like it as well. The number of animals who uh, are domesticated and ride with their uh, their adopted family. I put it in that light. Uh, enjoy sticking their heads out the window or feeling the wind in their uh, hair. <laughs> Of course, you do have to keep your eyes on the road. The attention and focus must be there as well. So, it is a bit of a thing to do uh, have a conversation and uh, focus at the same time on the road. It is a, uh, a, a split or a multi function uh, issue or task. Of course, uh, tissue. It's in here, but I don't know where I put it. Anyways, I'll have to wait to get uh, my parents' house to get the tissue. I don't seem to be able to find it right now. No, I can't find it, so uh, I'll have to wait till uh, later to get to, to, to take care of my nose. accelerator just right uh, and that will get, take you through the curve. If you hit it too soon or too late then you're going to be in trouble because the balance is thrown off. So it's a matter of getting it just right in terms of uh, 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 when you accelerate.
cars coming on the other side are not in their path. That's where the key comes in. Wide rights and the right turns have to do with the faster speed and trying to gain uh, the balance. Because again, there's an issue with balance on a scooter or any bike like that. The balance is a factor. Uh, and so speed, speed comes in. Your, your forward momentum is a major factor. And it's going to throw you off. So your turns, you know. Depending on how and when you accelerate, you're going to be wide. So, so like this turn wasn't fine. I was okay. I'm in my proper lane. It is, it's a matter of hitting the right turns. You know, the, the, the turn correctly here. Okay. And you're always kind of practicing because again, you've got to keep the focus where it needs to be uh, in terms of your driving. Not bad, not bad. the other way so yeah it's still made first uh, I emptied off uh, another whole uh, chip wor chips worth of uh, uh, ride logs so there's gonna be a number of them as this becomes more and more a regular thing and I checked the eclipse I went through uh, some of the clips and uh, the uh, rain vlog is there and not the entire thing but enough of the rain vlog that it will go into uh, a mixed vlog of ride and uh, uh, other content so yay for that Slightly off, but that's okay. So my errors are occurring. Every time you're a little off in terms of how you feel, errors are And uh, as long as they're not uh, too deadly and more dangerous. You should be alright. Uh, stop there. Think of stop. Nah. Stop is fine, so. We'll have an opportunity to get to the right position to check the cars from the way at the end. 
stop. Not in the middle of anything. bus and then a car to the left and nothing on the right car seems to have gone and disappeared passing the bus that's what it was there's what it was you have to account for everything uh, unfortunately, when you're driving, because there is a slightly less risk of getting hurt when you're in an accident. Because you're protected by the car. So, the, t the, 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 in many cases, the need to pay attention, the need of focus, is relaxed. And that's where it becomes a dangerous situation. Or on a scooter, because you really have to control the environment that you're on. At all times, you really can't relax your uh, sense of awareness of the environment around you. Uh, your, uh, your, your, your attention to safety is significantly great. But this, this, this should come as something that's being obvious to a lot of people, but in many cases it doesn't. And so, this is how you have a lot of accidents. And people don't pay attention to what they're doing as they're driving. They are not aware of the dangers that are around. And in many cases, there's other drivers. It's not just simply yourself, there's other drivers who are either are careless or make mistakes. Not gonna be, you know, mistakes can be dangerous. They can be deadly. Even if it's just, you know, I said it's an honest mistake. It's not carelessness. It's an error. And that error could be deadly. It could be fatal, either to yourself or to somebody else. And so this is where the caution comes in. The whole point of safety is you're not going to eliminate the risk. You're simply reducing it to the point where it's at an absolute minimum. for myself, I'm going to repeat this again because I say it often, it's something that's necessary to be repeated. I'm not a person who needs speed. So I'm not in a rush to get to the place where I need to get to or want to get to. And that's how you change your phrasing. When you need to get to a place, you're rushing. You feel rushed. When you want to get to a place, you're not rushed. Just you get there when you get there. And this is sort of uh, my feeling on the situation. Is that, uh, you get there when you get there, so it's a want it's in, rather than the need and the, uh, the sort of call the panic to get there, the, the anxiety is simply not there. And as the anxiety sort of peels back, if you will, uh, it allows for a lot more relaxed ride and you can enjoy the experience better as compared to feeling anxious about, you know, where you are and where you want to get to. Uh, 
And the fatigue here, this is where the fatigue comes in. The fatigue causes a bit of meandering. That means I'm not exactly following a straight line. The bike sort of has these points of wiggle. Where the stability isn't as good as it should be. And it's simply because uh, my control is it has lapsed. It's not where it should be. And that's typically a focus issue. And as you're more and more fatigued, as you become more and more fatigued, the ability to focus becomes more and more difficult. So when I got to my place, I do have a sense of, of, a, of an adrenaline rush, but not necessarily to the point that uh, I did it on my initial rides. My initial rides, when I got the place, though, was absolutely wired and it took me a uh, half hour, 45 minutes to calm down. And that's because of the anxiety of riding. Now I don't have that anxiety because I've got the experience. The experience replaces the anxiety. And today, you know, like I said, don't, don't feel as alert as I typically would be. So I'm, I'm holding my speed to 35 kilometers an hour. You will need to go around me, then go around me. But this is where I feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable at higher speeds right now, and so that's kind of the way things work. Final stretch, we're heading up the steels right now. I talked to my neighbor, he's an older gentleman, about my parents' age, who always used to ride a my, uh, motorcycle, so he's, he's happy to see my scooter. <laughs> it reminds him of his heyday when he was uh, on the road a lot. Part of the problem is I'm going through a neuromuscular downtime uh, where uh, uh, my, my uh, neuromuscular disorder is kicking in and it's causing a lot of problems, including uh, a significant amount of pain. So it makes the ride uncomfortable. So I think that's where a number of, a certain amount of the issue is. But, anyways. We're almost at my place. And these things, the, the rides aren't bad. I, 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 I do enjoy them, except for right now my butt is working. And that makes things, uh, and it's not the, it's, it's the muscles. The, it's the muscles. This, this is what the, the myotonic dystrophy, well, this is what it does. It causes the muscles to go into spasm, and they, uh, they don't stop. And it causes a significant amount of fatigue within the system. Because the muscles have been flexing so much. The muscles themselves get tired and sore. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. So we're in this, I'm feeling it at this point. A little bit more. 